Hello, welcome back once again. This is indeed a very nice and interesting Olympiad mathematics problem. We're given that x squared plus y squared is equal to 7, x cubed plus y cubed is equal to 10. So here we're going to evaluate x plus y. So let's get started. In this video, I'll be making use of the following nice algebraic identities. We have this identity, very famous, that x squared plus y squared is equal to x plus y squared minus 2 times x times y. And we have this identity for the sum of two cubes. x cubed plus y cubed is equal to x plus y cubed minus 3 times x times y into bracket x plus y. Okay, so now from the original problem, we know that this is equal to 7, right? And this one is equal to 10. So this right hand side will equate this to be equal to 7 and this to be equal to 10. Then our target is to find the value for x plus y. So now we can see we have x plus y squared minus 2xy which is equal to 7 and we have x plus y cubed minus 3xy into bracket x plus y which is equal to 10. So now we're going to make the following substitution. So we're going to let x plus y equals a and then x times y equals b. So we know that to find the value for x plus y, we need the value of values of a, right? So we can see we derive the following equations in terms of a and b. a squared minus 2b is equal to 7. And from the second equation, we have a cubed minus 3 times a times b is equal to 10. So from here, we can actually solve for b in terms of a. So b will be equal to a squared minus that 7 at the right hand side, then divided by the coefficient of b, which is 2. So this value of b we will substitute in this equation. So we have a cubed minus 3 times a, right? Then this b we substitute. So that will become a squared minus 7 divided by 2. Then this is equal to 10. So from here, we have a cubed, then we open this bracket. We know we have a squared divided by 2 minus 7 divided by 2. So negative 3 times, I mean negative 3a times a squared divided by 2 will give us negative 3a cubed divided by 2. Negative 3a times negative 7 over 2 will give us positive 21a divided by 2. And this is equal to 10. Now, multiply throughout by 2. That is, multiply both sides by 2, right? So we have 2 times a cubed will give us 2a cubed. Then minus 2 times 3a cubed divided by 2. 2 will cancel 2. We have 3a cubed. Then plus 2 will cancel 2. And the other one will have 21a. Then this is equal to 10 times 2 is 20. From here, we have this. This is negative a cubed, then plus 21a minus 20. This is equal to 0. So we're going to solve this cubic equation by factorization, right? So here is the key. Now, we have to rewrite this equation as negative a cubed plus 21a, then here, we're going to write this as negative 21 plus 1, which is equal to 0. We know that negative 21 plus 1 is negative 20. This one, take it to this side. So we have negative a cubed plus 1, then plus 21a minus 21. This is equal to 0. If we factor out negative 1 here, we're going to have a cubed minus 1, 
which we know we're going to make use of this. We know this a cubed minus b cubed, that is difference of two cubes formula. This is equal to a minus b multiplied by a squared plus ab plus b squared. So here we're going to have, if you factor out negative 1, we get a cubed minus 1, then plus 21a minus 21, this is equal to 0. So this one here is same as 1 cubed, and using this formula, we get negative into bracket a minus 1, into bracket a squared plus a, then plus 1 squared, which is 1, then plus 21 into bracket a minus 1, this is equal to 0. We can see a minus 1 is common, so we factor it out, so we get a minus 1 into bracket with this negative sign, this whole thing will become negative, right? Then plus 21 here. Then this is equal to 0. So we have a minus 1 equals 0, which implies that a is equal to 1. So this is our first solution. And here, this is negative a squared minus a. Negative 1 plus 21 is plus 20. This is equal to 0. Of which you can solve this by factorization method or we can use the general quadratic formula and we're going to have a is equal to negative 5 and a is equal to 4. So here we have our solution. This is a very nice Olympiad mathematics problem. So we're given that a squared plus y squared is equal to 7 and then a cubed plus y cubed is equal to 10. So therefore, the solution for x plus y, we have three solutions that x plus y is equal to 1, x plus y is equal to 4, and x plus y is also equal to negative 5. Amazing. Thank you for watching. Please kindly subscribe to my channel. Also like, comment, and share. Bye-bye.